So today we're fortunate to be with Martin Anderson. Uh, Martin co-founded Trekkie Records in 2001, put out some great music from bands like Lost in the Trees and The Never. Now he's working with Middle West Management, more on the management side of things. Uh, Martin, thanks so much for being here today. I uh, wonder if you could maybe tell us some of the bands you're working with right now. Yeah, I, I manage five great artists. I work with Sylvanesso, Lost in the Trees, Dana Bowie, uh, Lomelands, and Phil Cook. You see a lot of newer bands starting up, uh, and maybe they'll have their best friend manage them or a family member or something like that. Do you think that's a good idea? It's tough with bands who have uh, a manager who is a best friend first and foremost or a family member. I'm an example of a manager like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my company is, uh, you know, a lot of the success they've found has been through um, personal relationships and working with artists early on. Being able to have really clear conversations about what are the expectations, what are the goals, what are going to be the working roles, where, you know, where does the manager really dig in? Because I think that's the situations that I've seen like that where you have a friend managing that's very detrimental is when the manager just has never done this before. Right. You want somebody who's, who's done a trial run because you don't want right. to be that, that guinea pig. Managers who have great personal relationship with their artists are able to do a better job. If you're an artist watching the video and you say, you know, I've been touring for a couple of years, I've put out a couple of records, you know, we have good songs, why has a manager not picked me up yet? What can you say to maybe a band that is looking for a management, and, you know, is there kind of a, a process to that or is it, you know, just kind of trial by error or luck or how does that work? For artists that are, that think that they're at a place you know, to bring on management, I think that it's important to look at what you're already doing on your own. And I think that artists who are uh, touring on their own and putting out records and selling records and, and kind of those signifiers are there, people like the music, that's something that I think anyone that you're talking to, a manager, a booking agent, a label, they want to see that you're able to do it on your own. Um, because that's where you can come in and supplement. The longer you do this and, and the further your career goes, you start to realize what you really like want out of it. Mm. And I think that like working with people where you can kind of figure out that path together is what I really enjoy. It's probably the part that feels the most fulfilling to me. Right. 